Hey everyone, welcome back to That's Not Bad. Great to have you here. Today we are going to do a reaction to the one and only Billy Connolly. Now, um, I think you would have had to have been stranded in the Saharan Desert for the last 40 years to not know who this man is. Um, either the name, just how he looks, how he talks. Um, I think most people, if you've had a TV screen in the last 40 years, you'll probably recognise who he is. Um, I certainly know of him. I've seen a lot of his material over the years. So I thought for a reaction, um, I'd try and find something that I know I haven't seen and perhaps um, what I would consider his earlier stuff, so from the 80s, and I found something here, Comic Relief 1986. Now, I stand corrected, but I'm sure Comic Relief is like a an annual charity or fundraising gig that they do in the UK. Uh, I'm sure they're still doing it to this day. Comic Relief rings a bell, so this is obviously going back. Gee, it's almost 40 years, which is a bit scary. Um, so I've definitely never seen this, and I'm pretty sure this is just a straight back-to-back stand-up routine as opposed to a um, bit of a hash-up, a bit of an edit. So hopefully it's the, the former. Uh, but looking forward to this, uh, the one and only Billy, and uh, we'll see what he's got for Comic Relief 1986. It's weird, you know, I was talking about Australia there. I was on holiday before I started working there. And I was sunbathing. I was on the balcony of this house. I don't go to the beach for a few weeks because I'm a Scottish person. <laughs> and <laughs> I tend to frighten people on the beach because being Scottish, I'm pale blue. <laughs> it takes me a week to get white. You know? <laughs> I was on this veranda and I heard... Oh, I thought, fucking Japanese, change their mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> I trust those fuckers, I don't trust them an inch. All that hands across the ocean bullshit, don't fucking like them. Oh my god. I've done it before, ten years you'll all be singing a company song, Kawasaki, fucking hell. <laughs> They've got plans for you, those bastards. Oh, fucking Jesus, every time it's changed. Ten years ten, you along the road with your sonny walkman and the cable will tighten. I mean, you hear quite a few Nazi They're references, I don't think I can recall a... A Japanese World War II reference in a stand-up routine, but <laughs> I guess that uh, marks the age of the holiday the... camp in Queensland in Australia. Holiday camp. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Oh, the holiday camp isn't finished yet, see, because the fucking war hasn't even started yet." No, <laughs> it's a strange. But the, 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 there wasn't a Japanese at all. It was a shark warning, and the people were still swimming. Australians are strange, you know, there's fucking huge beasts walking about like that. They're giving it swim, swim. They seem to work on the basis that sharks eat one person at a time, you see. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the water! Get your fucking in the side of me! I'm fishing fucking behind you! <laughs> They're saying, what's with the blue prick in the veranda? <laughs> through that water like a fucking Polaris missile! <laughs> Throwing children behind me! <laughs> oh, it's unique, isn't it? It happened to me before, you know, I was in Barbados, I got into that scuba thing, you know. I looked up, my kids were on the beach, going, hey, ah. And for some inexplicable, I will never know the reason, I turned round. It's not the kind of thing you normally do when you're swimming. There's a fin six feet from me like that. I thought, oh, whoosh! I thrashed the water to a foam. Like, Help! <laughs> right up the beach, there was a trench through the sand. <laughs> Fucking shark! I nearly get run over by a bus on the main street. <laughs> I turned round, it was my own fucking flipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't turn round. I went to the, it's funny, you know, in Australia, the suntan oils in numbers from 1 to 14, you know, depending how fair skin. I was number 26. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so forget everything else that ages this like we got four, a four by three um 
format here, obviously. It's 1986, but he just referenced, what did he say, 1 to 14 sunscreen factor? Shit. I think the only thing we use in NZ is 50. In fact, I don't even think you can go, you can buy anything under 50 these days. Because, you know, in the 90s, 80s and 90s, we had a bloody big uh, ozone hole above us. So he's talking about factor 14. Holy shit, it's a different world. Wow. Women say, that's a bandage. I said, fuck it, give us it. <laughs> she says, you'd be better with a boiler suit and a balaclava. I said, watch it. <laughs> And there was a jar on the counter. This is the truth. This Australian woman was selling me this stuff. And there was a, like a honey jar. And in it was the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life. And it was under this liquid, you know. It had been dead for years. It was still fucking terrifying looking at her. I said, what's that? She says, oh, that's the famous funnel web spider. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Where do they live? Out in the bush, I said, trying to sound knowledgeable. Or oh, that'll be out in the bush, I said, pointing over my shoulder. <laughs> I thought it was a safe bet to point away from the sea. <laughs> it's a funny name for the countryside, the bush, isn't it? The bush. I think the middle of Australia is a huge desert with one fucking bush. <laughs> <laughs> she says, oh no, these funnel webs, they don't live, she says, that, that, we caught that one in a garden across the street. I said, I live here. She said, fuck it. And then she said this thing that thousands of people have said to me in my life, and they were all lying. She said, it won't bother you if you don't annoy it. <laughs> Who annoys these bastards? Is anybody that bored? They get up in the morning and go, ah, fucking bored. <laughs> I'll go and annoy that fucking spider. <laughs> See, in my life, there seem to have been lines and lines of little shits <laughs> who had Alsatians or Doberman pinchers foaming at the face, keeping a steady gaze on my bollocks, going, ah! <laughs> And these little shits who were holding them were all saying, it won't bother you if you don't annoy it. <laughs> then they don't tell you what annoys it. <laughs> Breathing and stuff like that. <laughs> but my tour opened in a place called Townsville, which was up in the north of Queensland, up in the tropical bit. And I went for a little walk before the gig, as is my wont, you see. Walking along the seaside, and there was a big notice board, and it says, Beware! So I was being ware. <laughs> Stingers! Exclamation mark. I thought, fucking stinger. <laughs> now, I don't know if stingers burrow holes in the ground, drop out of trees, or arrive in fucking taxis. <laughs> but I'm being where? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I thought, I better read on. Stingers! Or box jellyfish. I said, my God, these fuckers are gift wrapped. What can a country do? <laughs> <laughs> he's just, isn't he awesome? I mean, he's just such a unique performer. You know, his delivery, the way he looks. And as I've said previously, you know, I'm a big fan of accents. And, and it, he's just, he is, he is fantastic. He is one of a kind. And it is, it is really sad. Um, what's happened to him health-wise, and I think, what, um, didn't, wasn't there a doctor who was watching one of his performances, either live or, or on TV, and obviously after watching him was, was, um, 
obviously expert enough to realize that shit this man has parkinson's or he's developing parkinson's i mean that you know to to make that realization through watching a performance like that and then getting in touch with him and, and sort of breaking the bad news i mean that must have been pretty it's a pretty unique situation you know i mean i'd imagine there's, there's probably i'd imagine there's probably a medical specialist watching this channel right now um who's going oh hmm yes yes and he's probably gonna uh, reach out to me and he's gonna say phil i've been watching a couple of your reaction videos and look i'm really sorry to have to tell you this but it would appear that you're suffering from obesity <laughs> that's what he's gonna say <laughs> that's what i think he's gonna say and um doc here yeah, you're right i probably am i could cut back on the carbs but um yeah that 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 story hearing about that that di that visual diagnosis watching one of his performances that in itself is a pretty remarkable story you imagine you're giving it a bit of that this box with a big bow on it oh i wonder what that is <laughs> It says, if the heart stops, I thought, what size is this? The cloud comes over the sun, you know. It says, douse the wounds. Wait, you hear this? Douse the wound liberally with vinegar. I always go swimming with a bottle of vinegar. <laughs> You're probably the same yourself. But assassins. <laughs> it's the truth. The following morning, I was watching the news and it said a wee boy had been stung and it said, and don't go around among the rock pools today. As we've seen the unwelcome return of the blue ringed octopus. <laughs> and it showed you this bastard. You could see the camera shaking, the guy's shitting his head. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this thing's about that size, it's got blue things on its legs and it's gone like that. Fuck off! <laughs> Bastard stings you, you don't even make it to the phone. <laughs> You're looking for a stinger to take the edge off the pain. <laughs> oh, he's fantastic. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, man. Well, I think it's fair to say I could watch Billy all day, any day, um, as I think most of us out there could. He's, he's just one of a kind. But I'm so glad to have found something I've, I've never seen. Um, that was quite cool. Um, and obviously his, his iconic look as he did at that point in time. He's always had the long hair, I think. But I think uh, Billy from the 80s, I think if you think have, have a memory of him, I think most people would tend to think of him in that period. But that was really good. Um, yeah, I would, it goes without saying, I would watch more of him any day all day absolutely yeah, one of a kind really fantastic so that was uh that was a good way to put a quick smile on the dial uh, in the evenings um as always thank you for the likes and subscribes i love all the suggestions that are coming through i do take note of them um so thank you for that um especially the more obscure ones in fact anything at all so um stand up tends to be uh, what people want to see so happy to do that i like to mix it up just a little bit but uh I'm always cognizant of what gets watched and uh, what seems to be popular. And, and if, if it's going to be stand-up long-term, hey, that's all good. I mean, you can't really go wrong with stand-up, can you? You know, and if you don't like stand-up, oh, shit, you've probably got a bit of a sorry existence. You know, everyone's got to have some humour in their life. So, yeah, uh, that's all for now. Back real soon with another reaction video. Thanks, everyone. Take care out there. Cheers.